Hey, for a while now I've been wanting me a little power supply I could use at my desk while I'm coding, working with microcontrollers and such, that I could use at my desk and not take up a lot of space and easy to power. So I looked around and I ended up finding this and oddly enough I found it on Black Friday but um, really wasn't on sale but it wasn't that expensive either. And this is the XY-UDP Digital USB DC to DC Converter. It has constant current, constant voltage. It claims from for input um, 0.6 to 30 volts. And then you can set your, your output. Um, and it also claims up to 2 amps, which I, I doubt that. But I, I don't want it for that anyway. As um, long as it gets around an amp or a little more, I'm okay with that. Anyway, um, let's have a look at the web page and get the specs here. So, got it off of AliExpress, and I paid eleven dollars and forty-seven cents, uh, and free shipping. So, and let's see here. Um, here's the tagline that they put everything into, including the kitchen sink. We'll scroll on down for some features and see what they look like. Um, I am currently powering it off of the USB Type C. Um, I don't have any um, fast charging ports, so um, just just normal five volts at five hundred milliamps. So, um, but it allows for normal USB Type C and that's it yeah that's it um you have your up and down selector key and it also has a little set button there and then your on and off button and you also use your on and off button for um switching the screen too and then you got your outputs there to push terminal type um and they actually work very well and they're pretty solid um I just see it saw that it does have micro USB too. Sorry. Anyway, to change the rotation, and you can, it's a cycle through. So um, you just hold the on off button for two seconds, and it'll switch. Um, no, no accelerometer or anything in there to to switch it. But um, and that works pretty well. So um, and here are the screens. Um, this is your main screen. Um. Tells you what your voltage out is, your current out, and then your watts out. Um, and you got your a thermometer, and that can be changed from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And that's the thermometer, I guess, of the board itself. Um, and the constant voltage, constant current um, number, or excuse me, um, sign here. And whether it's on or off, and um, and then you got your set points. Um, here's 12 volts and at 2.1 amps. And you got your informational screen. Once you turn it on, you can tell how many app hours it's ran and how many watt hours it's put out, and then the time it's been on, and then the input voltage again, um, right here. And a bar graph, and the bar graph is pretty useless because once you switch screens, it goes away. Um, and for this, it really doesn't matter. Um, I guess it would be nice if, if, if you were had something that you could output it and collect that data, but yeah, it's other than that, it's kind of useless. And you can't collect the data, by the way. Just saying it would be nice to be able to do that. Um, here you got your um, set points, your low voltage protection, your over voltage protection, your over current protection, your over power protection, your over hour protection, and your amp hour protection are sets. And then here's your charging screen. Um, I don't have any fast chargers, so all of mine would say fail just like that. Um, you got your brightness, sleep, this is your setting screen. Um, change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, um, on and off, and then the color scheme, and then again your your current voltage. Oh, this is out right here. Okay. And 
night mode. Um, okay, so you can change your brightness for night mode. Okay. And then... See, you see, sleep can be set to shut down after one to ten minutes and wake up by any key. Okay. And various other information. Some of it... Eh, they include a lot of information. So, let's have a look at it in action. Okay. I have a ESP8266 um, board connected to it, so I'll power that up. And you just hit the button, and it's on. So we're currently sending 6.29 volts, and it is drawing 0 0.068 amps, which is about right for an ESP with the radio on. This is a 2866 and not a um, 32, so and it gives you a wattage reading. And to set, and just go down to here, and now you've got your highlighted right there, and you want it, it goes away when, if you don't hit anything. Okay, now we'll hit there, and we, we can um, change that number up and down and go to the next one do the same and you just cycle through all of them that you want so we'll go back we'll go up to let's go to eight volts good okay so okay now we can go over to the amperage and change that Change it down to 255. Sounds good. Let that sit there. And now it's um, set at that point. So now we can time down and went to the other screen. So we've been on for 14 seconds and 38. Or excuse me. Well, it says 14. Oh, I didn't reset that, so, okay, never mind. I, you had to reset that, sorry. I had it on earlier. So, it's recorded up to 14 minutes of output here. And you can actually reset that. Go down here, and we just click on that, and it's clear. Okay, but it gives you the amperage amp hours for that period and the watt hours for that period and go to the next screen which is the the plotter and as I can show you you know we'll, we'll leave that go come back and see it just restart so useless but anyway they tried and then here's your current settings um, or excuse me, your overprotection and, and underprotection limits right here. And you just do that by hitting the, the set button there. And you can go up and down and, and then hit the set button again. And it'll go and change it. So um, it's been pretty nice. Um, I've only been using it for about a day or so. Um, didn't, didn't get to, a chance to play with it after I first got it so um but this it, it meets what I wanted um let's show you with the power bank and this is not going to be a comp comprehensive test by any means okay I'll plug it into the power bank and it'll come on and we have the same thing here so get back there we go, and we'll turn it back on, and it's back on. Uh, but it's, I like it so far. It was inexpensive. Um, it allows me to do what I wanted to do without having to drag cables and wires across from my bench in my office to my computer desk or my work desk for, for work in, in my programming and stuff. So that that's a big plus um it was 
fairly inexpensive, you know, under $12 was good. Um, with shipping, it was less than $13, so that wasn't bad at all. Um, it got to me, um, came out of box um, with padding, and and so it was safe. And it's easy to read, easy to use, um, so I, I like it. But anyway, um, hope everyone enjoys this, and thanks a lot.